I'm Scotty Cook for Lake TV. We'd like to welcome you to the historic Bagnell Dam Strip here at the beautiful Lake of the Ozarks for the 27th annual Lake Area Chamber of Commerce Magic Dragon Street Meet. Nearly a thousand competitors this year, growing bigger and better each and every year. Beautiful people, beautiful cars, beautiful weather here at the Lake of the Ozarks this weekend. So we'd like to invite you to kick back on your dock, your lawn chair, your lazy chair, whichever, and come along with us for a visit with some of the thousands of people from all over here this weekend at the beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Well, everybody's favorite is somewhere between the 55 to the 57 Chevy, and this gentleman right here from Derby, Kansas, Mr. Ron Moore, sure has a beauty. And one of the neat things of this Magic Dragon Street Meet is that every car has a story. Yes, it does. Every car does have a story. And you've got quite a good one, I'm sure, as best you could tell. Yeah, I've owned this car since 1964, and uh, it's, I have been through a lot. I uh, started restoring in the late 70s and stored it for several years and uh, in 1999 it went through a tornado in Hayesville, Kansas and uh, I had to start over again. <laughs> so uh, tell me about the restoration process, uh, how long it took from where we are today? Well, uh, we started, like I say, in the late 70s but it probably sat for about 30 some years and then uh, I uh, got it out and started working on it, oh, about four years ago, five years ago, I can't remember. It originally had a six cylinder in it and uh, I drove it that way for a while and then I ended up putting an LS1 out of a 2004 GTO in it and uh, been driving it ever since. I would like to work on it to finish it but uh, I'm too lazy in the winter and it gets too much fun to drive in the summertime. I bet uh, you just hold your breath uh, as proudly as you cruise it down the road you hold your breath. I'm curious of uh, what that odometer says. Uh, probably around 45,000 since I put this engine in it. Wow. Wonderful. Well, it's great to see you here, and uh, just as interesting as uh, the story of the car, most people come to this street meet, have been here for years on end. Interesting how you found out about it, this being your first year. Yes, uh, last, I think it was November, we came down here with a friend of mine, and uh, we were in the uh, antique shop down the street here, and I saw a plaque from a past show. And so we did a web search to find the website for it, and we decided this would be a good place to come this, this spring. Well, this 1970 Plymouth GTX is owned by a dear friend of the old uh, Lake TV, and uh, we talked to Mr. Stephen Young from St. Peter's, Missouri a couple years ago. Glad to have you back. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to be here. Your ride over this year was a little better than when we talked to you a couple years ago. Yeah, I didn't come in on the tow truck this year. <laughs> so. An amazing story. Uh, a couple of year, years ago, we, we spoke with Steve, and he was on his way to the Magic Dragon, and the old drive shaft went out. But uh, that's when you learned uh, about the good people of this area, for sure. Yeah. I forget the guy's name now because it's been a few years, but he was a wonderful guy. If it hadn't been for him, I would have went home on a trailer. You had another uh, Magic Dragon street meet, and here you are again, and just bigger and better things here for this Lake of the Ozarks area each year. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. We won't miss it. We're here every year. So, uh, so as far as your uh, beautiful hot rod uh, green machine is concerned, uh, no harm, no foul since uh, losing a drive shaft a couple of years ago. How's she purring? It's all good. Of all the competitors from all over for this 27th Magic Dragon Street Meet, ran into a fella from right across the county line for me, Mr. Lance Lloyd from Millersburg, Missouri. Tell us about your beautiful 64 Impala. Well, I found this um, 64 Impala in Sturgeon. It had been in storage for about 15 or 20 years and just pulled it out and refurbished what I could to get it safe and, and dependable, and here we are. It sure is a sleek, beautiful old ride, and uh, amazing to me as I looked in at the odometer, uh, original miles on it. Yes, 46,000, a little over now. And you 
say that thing just purrs like a kitten. It does. It's fun to drive. Awesome. You've been coming down here to the street meet in Magic Dragon for uh, quite a few years, but now a proud owner of a car to be able to enter in the Magic Dragon street meet. That's right. It's been a dream. I've been coming down here since I was a little kid looking, and now to finally be here with my own car, I mean, it's been something I've dreamt about forever. Sitting in front of a staple of the Bagnell Dam Strip, the historic Richard's Relic Shack and Mr. Richard Brown from right here in Lake of the Ozarks. Been here at the Magic Dragon for every single one of them. Yes, I have. And yeah. this, uh, this, this event has become so big. Before we speak about it, this building historically, what we're sitting in front of, uh, just very interesting where you, saw, where, where you spoke of its humble graces and beginnings. Well, I just rented it for a month in 1971, and I was going to have a yard sale. And it just exploded from that. I was, I was going to say, it's got to be, in the modern day 2015, all these years later, beyond your belief of what it could have ever turned into. Oh, yes. I bought the store, I bought the property, everything here is all mine. Well, as we say, this building, this business, a staple here on the historic Bagnell Dam Strip, but Richard doesn't want to uh, only be a proprietor. He wants to be an entrant as well in this 27th Magic Dragon car show. you got a beautiful Corvette. Tell us about it. Oh, it's a 2014 Corvette Stingray. I've had it for about, well, I got it uh, just about six months ago. And it'll do everything except blue wind and water together. <laughs> well, I tell you, no, not necessary for any restoration whatsoever on this brand new beauty. And uh, it certainly is good to run into you. And uh, we hope you have a wonderful time. This. Before we let you go, speak a little bit about uh, this event, this national event that has turned into such a big deal all across the country. I can remember a time when you could put all the cars in one picture. And it's grown from that every year and grown and continues to grow. And uh, I think this year is going to be the biggest one yet. Yet another beautiful Chevrolet. This one, a 57 Chevy Belleville, Illinois. Don Kuntz making your first visit here to the historical Bagnell Dam Strip. And uh, it's so good to have you here. Thank you. It's uh, We've heard a lot about this show, and we finally made it down here with some friends from Champaign, Illinois. So. Well, I tell you what, your uh, hot rod sure is uh, quite beautiful, and uh, it's got a pretty neat story in and of itself. Well, we bought this from a friend of ours up in Champaign. My wife fell in love with it, and she saw the car before I did. And uh, she goes, oh, my gosh, is that thing gorgeous? And I went and looked at it, and we, we bought it. And, uh, it, you know, we did a, we've done a few things that we wanted to do to the car. But uh, the guy that built it really had his act together when he built it. So, For sure. yeah. and as you've told me, no matter how you, how much you love this thing, uh, you ha your wants are kind of leaning toward yeah. maybe the uh, convertible, thus the uh, well, for sale sign. <laughs> we have a '39 Chevrolet Street Rod at home, and we've been in 42 states and Canada in that car. So we travel a lot in that. We've traveled a lot in this. But all of a sudden, both of us want a convertible really bad. So when we get rid of this, then we're going to buy like a 442 convertible. Or... Wonderful, wonderful. We want to welcome you to the beautiful Lake of the Ozarks, and we hope you, you, you folks have a wonderful time here this week. We've been coming here for, tomorrow will be our 45th wedding anniversary. And when we came down here in 1970, nothing was open because the blue laws on a Sunday, you couldn't even get a cocktail. So, you know, we've been coming here for 45 years. It's great. I love the lake. It was uh, nothing but a hidden, best-kept secret around uh, the Midwest back then, and it's yeah. turned such into Everybody a great tourist attraction. Yeah. Everybody knows about it.
everybody. My name is Mikayla. I live here at the Lake of the Ozarks. I am a local here. What I love most about the Lake of the Ozarks is this is just a place where everybody from all over the world comes together and it's just a great time. There's sunshine, even if it's rain, we're all here, we're smiling, we're happy. Great times, families, parties, doesn't matter. We're all here together. Hi, I'm Iva. And I'm Mary. And we're both from Illinois and we just love the lake. We love coming down here and having a great time with great friends. Hi, I'm Sharon Walsh and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And I love coming to the Magic Dragon Show and coming to the lake just any time of the year. My name is Chasson Bax and I, one thing I like about the Lake of the Ozarks is the parties every weekend. And there's lots of water and I love water. I like being aquatic. So. Hi, my name is Bill Miller and I'm down here at Lake of the Ozarks at the Band Strip. You guys got to come down and check this place out. It's a nice place to be. Hot summer nights is coming up down here also. Every uh, second Friday of the month, you need to come down and check this out. Well, it wouldn't be a Magic Dragon Street Meet Nationals if it weren't for this guy right here, the mayor of Lake Ozark, Mr. Johnny Francisco, and it's so very good to see you, my friend. Oh, nice seeing you again. This thing has become so big and spread so large and so wide. My first wonder and thought is, we, we just spoke with uh, Mr. Brown down at Richard's Relic Shack. He says he remembers back in the day, the first one where we used to be able to get all the cars in one video shot. Not possible anymore. You won't be able to do that now. We got, well, we'll have over a thousand cars here tomorrow. By golly, it looks like we got that many tonight. And we've, uh, we've stretched this thing all the way back from the dam all the way all up the way, here. All the way up to uh, uh, School Road up there. It's crazy, and uh, we were just having a, a word off camera a minute ago. It's uh, so neat uh, for you and for everyone around here to uh, see such a social gathering, and one of your favorite things about it is uh, the people that come from far and wide for this. Oh, my gosh, they come from all over. You know, you it's fun for me to go down and walk the strip and talk to the people that come down here, and uh, they love it. They just keep coming back, so it's, it's great. Absolutely, and... Uh, not to mention such a stunt in the uh, growth of the economy for this particular weekend. A lot of things here at the lake all throughout the lake season, but this in particular is really a shot in the arm for you. I, I think this is the, this starts the season off. This is Absolutely. one of the big ones. Well, it's been going 27 years. It gets bigger and better every year. And uh, like we say, we couldn't do it without this gentleman here. And uh, Mr. Mayor, it's definitely been my pleasure. I want I, to thank you. I thank you for having me. Mayor Johnny Francisco. <laughs> Well, we've caught up with this guy, Mr. John Karen, chairman of the 27th annual Lake Area Chamber of Commerce Magic Dragon Street Meet Nationals, yet another big year. You know, it is. We just sold out about two hours ago, so it's a full show, 1,000 cars. 1,000 cars and so many people, so many cars, and such a stunt into the economy here in the area. It's the first big weekend of the year, and it's one of the biggest weekends of the year for the tourism industry. Hotels are full, resorts are full, restaurants are full, bars are full, and the streets are full. So it's, it's a great thing to kick off the tourism season here at the Lake of the Ozarks. We were speaking with Mayor Francisco just a little bit ago, and uh, of all of the things to do during the lake summer season, uh, this one here, this particular event, pretty much tops it all. We expect uh, over 10,000 spectators here tomorrow, one day tomorrow, 10,000 people. Exactly. So the streets closed and it's a sea of people. It's a street party. Absolutely. And uh, I know that you're so very proud of uh, everyone making this thing possible, as well as your uh, fellow uh, people on the uh, Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Well, our board of directors is, has been rock solid. And that starts with our chamber director, Wendy White, and then our staff at the chamber, Lisette Holt, and Chelsea Hayes and Karen Copas, all, th all four of those ladies have done just a wonderful job. Uh, I, I have the privilege of being on the Lake Area Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors and my board mates, if you will, have just been wonderful. We've really stepped up, all of them have, and uh, the setup was yesterday and a little bit this morning. Show started at noon today and we're, uh, we're on task, ahead of schedule, we're sold out, everything is good. It's got to be amazing to you uh, where this thing started 27 years ago to uh, pretty much almost outgrown itself. Where do we put all these cars now? <laughs> well, it has outgrown itself, and what we had to do last year for the first time was create a limit to registration. And in years past, we were trying to see how many registrations we could have, how many registrations we could sell, if you will. 
and uh, we got to the point where we didn't have spaces and there were safe, some safety issues with police and fire, especially if something tragic happened, it would have been difficult on a Saturday to get emergency vehicles in. So so we, we made uh, sat down with the, with the city of Lake Ozark and created a very good and safe limit of 1,000. That gets them in and out and uh, lets everybody that are here enjoy the show a little bit better. Absolutely. And for those of you watching at home, if you haven't been here, you got to put it on your bucket list. This is something to see. Well, this beautiful 1953 Bel Air owned by this gentleman from Champaign, Illinois, Mr. Don Patton, as well another gentleman with your hot rod at the Magic Dragon for the first time. Correct. And, yeah. Uh, how's your experience been so far? Oh, so far it's been awesome. The sights and uh, the people have been great. Couldn't have ordered up better weather oh, for this. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, tell us about this thing. So many people stopping and taking a look at it, and I know, uh, speaking with your wife, Chris, it's truly the apple of your all's eye. <laughs> it is. We have a lot of fun with it. It's a 50, you know, 53 convertible. You don't see a lot of them. It's still got the six cylinder that's hopped up a little bit, so it sounds good, sounds different. And uh, we just enjoy the heck out of it. We've had it for about five years. Where'd you, where'd you pick it up? We actually bought it at an event in uh, Indianapolis. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well, it's great to have you guys here. Uh, we spoke with uh, your buddy Don, Don that you traveled with. Uh, he told us he wanted a, uh, a convertible as well, so now we know where his jealousies come from. <laughs> Probably. You know how that goes. You, you always, it's like the cow wanting the greener grass. <laughs> Well, we just talked to this gentleman's papa, but this guy here, Ryan Patton, and uh, his son, Donnie Patton, here at the uh, Bagnell Dam Strip, the 27th annual Magic Dragon Street Meet, and uh, glad to have you here, my friend. Yeah, we love being here. We, uh, we, we wanted to pull you out of the crowd because we know that you told us that you aren't necessarily from the Lake of the Ozarks area, your family from Champaign, Illinois, but uh, you're a big lake TV fan when you're here visiting your friends. We come, we've been coming down here uh, the past uh, six, seven years, uh, and uh, my wife gives me a hard time because every time we get here, the first thing I do when we're in the condo is turn on Lake TV. So uh, it's on it's on all the time. Even when we go to the lake and come back, it's still running. Well, we definitely <laughs> love to hear that, and possibly a Lake TV fan in the future as well. And uh, little Donnie and Dad and Grandpa Don are here having an absolutely great time. Uh, I know your dad said his first visit here, so I know you've got a good feeling with Dad stretched out in the lawn chair enjoying this uh, atmosphere. I've been trying to get him down here for years during the summer, and if I can start early now, maybe I might be able to get him in the summer too. Stop by to visit with one of our great supporters on Lake TV, Miss Marisol from El Gallita, and you are expecting a big, big crowd this weekend for the Magic Dragon Street Meet. Yes, we are. We have a car show this weekend. Uh, you know, everybody come down to the strip and join us for some lunch. We're right behind Luby's Plaza. Right behind Luby's Plaza, right off of the historic Bagnell Dam Strip. And when you come in here, the ambiance is great, the environment's great, all kinds of specials as well. Yes, yeah, so we start off uh, every day. We have a weekly day special. They, they're they different every day. And uh, we also have a happy hour from 2 to 6, and our Taco Tuesdays, our dollar, and uh, Thirsty Thursdays, $1 dress. And once uh, dinner time comes, after a while, the enchilada specials will be, uh, the Saturday enchilada special will be flying out the door. Yes, Saturday enchilada specials we have, and we also have on Sundays, our chimichangas will be 850. Well, we want to uh, tell you thank you very much for uh, spending a little time with us here today, as well as your support on Lake TV, and uh, we hope you have a great weekend. Okay, thanks very much for coming in, and we're glad, uh, glad to sponsor the car, uh, car show. This beautiful 1931 Model A owned by these wonderful people from Lenexa, Kansas, Kevin and Janet Jordan, and uh, welcome to the historic Bagnell Dam Strip and the Magic Dragon Street Meet. Thank you. We're glad to be here. You 
were uh, just telling me about this uh, unbelievable hot rod. You've owned it uh, seven, eight years, you yep. say. Yep. Amazing to me, you said you built it uh, from the frame up in six months. Six months. Yep. And uh, the immaculate 57 Hemi you've got in there. Yeah, yeah, We uh, that was something I, when I built the car, I had, to, I had to put a motor in it that was different than just a small block or big block Chevy. So we found a guy that had an old, old Hemi motor and uh, he rebuilt it for me and we put it in the car. Such a beautiful ride, man. So glad to have you guys here. And uh, this thing, you only, I don't even really want to get too close to it because it's so sparkly and beautiful. I'm curious, does uh, dad let you get out and spin laps on it? Uh, no, no, <laughs> not at all. I don't ever drive it. <laughs> uh, this weather, this uh, environment, uh, such a neat thing here for the Lake of the Ozarks. It is. Beautiful. And uh, you guys have been coming here for a few years now. And uh, tell me, this is your first time with the car here on display at the Street Meet Nationals. But uh, tell us about your experience and uh, what you get out of all this here. Oh, I love it because I can go shopping and my <laughs> and my boss, my ex-boss has the hotel up at Rockwood. So that's one reason why we come down here Wonderful. so I can see her and everything. Yeah, and uh, maybe a great place to stay as well. Yes, yes it is. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, we really really appreciate your all's time. Uh, before we let you go, I know when we were wanting to talk to you about your hot rod, your buddies were teasing you about uh, whether they were going to come up here and talk about your hot rod or not. <laughs> yeah, they like to give me a hard time about it. You know, it's like some of them don't like hubcaps, some don't like white walls, some don't like the blue top. But I, you know, so I just I just listen to them and let it let it go. And then I start insulting them about their cars. <laughs> well, we've only been able to show you a fraction of the thousands of cars, competitor, and people here at the historical Bagnell Dam Strip. So we'll invite you to come back next year for the 28th annual Lake Area Chamber of Commerce Magic Dragon Street Meet Nationals. I'm Scotty Cook for Lake TV. We'll see you guys next year.